and number one terrorist gate. The New York Times of all outfits reporting that a guy we released from Guantanamo Bay a year ago is now the deputy leader of al-Qaeda's group in the nation of Yemen. Saeed Ali al-Shiri was sent home to Saudi Arabia in 2007, went through this Saudi rehab program, supposedly went to work in the family business, but he is now a suspect in the bombing of our embassy in Yemen last September. The Times wrote that this, quote, has underscored the potential complications in carrying out the executive order President Obama signed Thursday that the detention center that would be Gitmo be shut down within a year. Conservative politicians have gone nuts, saying this shows you can't close Gitmo ever, and you certainly can't release anybody from Gitmo, and they were right, and they told you so. Bill O'Reilly tonight led his newscast with this as a warning to President Obama. All this is based on one really big assumption. In fact, it would seem the commentary on this is bass backwards. The Bush administration detained this man and claimed he'd gone to an urban warfare tactics training camp in Kabul, had been injured in an air raid just after we went into Afghanistan in 2001, had met with extremists in Iran and smuggled some of them into Afghanistan and had tried to carry out a fatwa on a writer. But before he was freed from Gitmo, and please remember, he was not freed as part of the panicky flushing of the innocent of the last months of the administration. The Bushies let him go in 2007. Shiri said he had gone to Afghanistan to do relief work, and his trip to Iran, that was to buy carpets for his family's furniture store in Riyadh. So the ultimate question here is not, doesn't this prove we can never, ever, ever, never close Gitmo? But rather, if he really was traveling tourists of terrorism, and not a guy buying rugs. Why did the Bush people let him go? Or why was he never put on trial? Or why did the permanent solution to terrorism the Bushies claimed Gitmo was fail so utterly here? And perhaps worst of all, if Shiri was once just a guy trying to get a deal on some carpets, which is suggested by the fact that Bush's people let him go, did his detention at Gitmo in fact turn him into a terrorist? Did we perhaps create in Saeed al al Shiri? His reason for hating us. Hot waffles. The smell of warm maple syrup. You know the smell after it rains? That's it. Leather.